The design and engineering process is a series of decisions that affect various stakeholders. In order to make a decision happen faster in the design process, Autodesk Fusion 360 leverages A360. A360 is the data storage and collaboration component of Fusion 360. A360 gives you access to the project information through a web browser anywhere on any device. There is no need to buy an expensive PDM system, worry about implementation costs, and have a dedicated admin to set up complex infrastructure. We will start off in A360 as it would look for a new user. When Fusion 360 account is created, two default projects are created inside A360 for the user. We can use A360 to create a new project for a new design we will be working on. We can add a relevant title, description, and picture to summarize the project for others that are viewing, collaborating, or designing inside the project. Next, we can invite stakeholders who have access to edit our designs inside the project. Now I'm going to be working on this project for several months, so I can pin the project so I can quickly browse to this project. Also, this next project has been completed, so I will archive this project. A project can be unarchived at any time just in case an ECO comes along. Now we can create folders to better organize the project. Also, we can upload a variety of file formats that are relevant to the project. In this example, we can upload DWGs, PDFs, and Excel files from a previous project that will aid us in this design. A360 gives us access to view these files in any web browser. In addition, we can upload other CAD formats to leverage a viewer in the cloud. A360 will keep track of references made between parts and assemblies from other CAD systems. Now picture being out of the customers and you want to show them your design. Instead of having to run back into the office to get your CAD file, you can open up a browser, log into A360, and view your file in any browser. Next, we will look into an A360 account of a user who is involved in several projects. We can start by sorting projects to help locate a certain project. I will take a look at the activity feed to see what has been recently changed or added. I see that Connor recently uploaded a DWG. Right here, I can open up the file to make sure he documented the part correctly. Next, I can see the notifications of designs I have been working on. To locate the build arm assembly, I could browse using the folder structure, or I can use the intelligent search to search all the designs in my projects. The designs overview page automatically displays information created from references and data created in the design. First, I can see how this design has evolved by selecting different versions of the design. We can examine when and who updated this version for full accountability of changes made to the design. Don't worry, we can always promote a previous version in case I made a catastrophic change to our design. Next, we can examine the different relationships made in this design. I can see that this assembly uses a ball component that has a new version available. We will update this in a minute. In addition, we can see where this assembly has been used and the drawings created to document this design. We can also see which design and drawings haven't been updated with the most recent change of the build arm assembly. Simply open up those files, update, and the changes will be propagated to those out-of-date designs. Now let's take a look at the related data. This is the data created within the design such as CAM, animations, and renderings of the design. Imagine we want to look at the CAM data on the machine shop floor to verify a toolpath. We can open up a web browser on any computer and take a look before we start cutting material. Finally, we can view any of the assembly relationships or related data as different versions are created in the design process. We can view or promote an old version in case the change I made to the design caused a failure. Now Connor has asked me to create a rendering, so from A360 we can open this design in Fusion 360. Within Fusion 360 we are alerted the ball component is out of date, just like A360 predicted. In the data panel we can view the assembly relationships and see which component is out of date. This panel reiterates the data shown in A360 right in the Fusion 360 interface. Let's quickly update the assembly and make the requested rendering using Fusion 360 Cloud Rendering Solution. When we jump back into A360, we can see that our build arm assembly is using the most recent version of the ball component. Also, A360 has organized the rendering into the related data for us to view automatically. Fusion 360 and A360 are truly linked in the way they interact. Now let's look at the commenting thread. We have been requested to move and rename the file. However, we have several referencing files. Using A360, we are able to move the file by browsing to a new location or clicking and dragging. Next, we can rename the file without affecting any of our assembly references. With A360, we are given functionality that are found in expensive product data management systems without the expensive licensing fees, server costs, and implementation fees. 
As soon as I create a Fusion 360 account, I am up and running with a powerful data management system. Next, we can open up the viewer to examine our designs in any web browser. No longer do we have to download a viewer, then worry about having an incompatible file. Now let's respond to the comments on this design. Usually these conversations are held between multiple stakeholders in various email threads. Now we have a centralized location for decisions made on a design during the development process. This will give transparency to all stakeholders. Now this isn't just a normal viewer. This web-based viewer gives us capabilities to look at different components and their associated properties. We can look at the related data created from the design such as animations and cam toolpaths. In addition, we can expect our design using section views or exploded views to really see how our components form, fit, and function together. We can then choose to download the file in the format that best suits our needs. Now I don't have to open my CAD application just to translate a file. Now my customer wants to examine this assembly prior to production. Instead of sending them a link to download a viewer and a CAD file, we could simply send them a link. This link will open a viewer in any web browser so our customer can inspect the design. In addition, I can set a password and give them rights to download the file in the format of their choosing so we don't have to go back and forth translating to different formats. I control how much access my customer has to our design data. Finally, we can invite a stakeholder to do a live review simply by sending them a link. Here we can see the design in real time. This will change the way the design reviews are done across the world. Chats can be created to communicate different changes that need to be made. Ultimately, A360 will improve the way design teams collaborate on different designs to make decisions come faster in the product development process. In addition, it gives you tools out of the box that are usually implemented with complex PDM systems. If you're currently using Fusion 360, check out this new functionality by clicking the link below. On the other hand, if you haven't started designing using Fusion 360 yet, go to autodesk.com forward slash Fusion 360 to download a trial today.